and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm doing an experiment. Um, these are coasters. They are MDF. They came pre uh, corked on the back. They were just raw MDF circles with cork on the back and they were just $2 from Kmart. You can see the video that I um, I made those in back further in my playlist. There's a playlist in the end card of all my videos, and you can so you can scroll through and find these in there. Uh, but today, what I'm going to do, I have been given an awesome tip from my friend Linda, and she uses this Rust-Oleum. Um, two times ultra cover semi gloss clear uh, to do her coasters, and she finds that the cups don't stick to it. And if you guys have made coasters before, uh, you'll find you may have noticed that, and with a lot of varnishes, when you put a hot cup down on it, the uh, the cup actually sticks to it, and you pick your cup up, and you've got a coaster underneath. So. Um, these, I'm not sure whether these had silicon in them or not, I cannot remember and I have not looked back through the video, but I am seeing a few little silicon looking cells, just probably there was a bit of silicon in the red from the looks of this. So I'm going to clean the silicon off using cornflour um, and we will see what comes of that. So I've got a container here, corn flour or corn starch as they call it in other parts of the world is, um, yeah, it's what you use to thicken your gravy uh, if you're making gravy from your meat juices. And I'm just gonna just spread the corn flour around on here. If there's no oil at all, it pretty much just rubs off. And um, if there is oil in there, the oil gets absorbed into the corn flour and lifted off. So I'm just gonna run through and do See how it just sort of rubs off in most places. Um, sometimes I wash my paintings and I've done several videos on washing paintings and uh, that's not always the best option, especially not in the winter when you've then got to dry the paintings out. Or if you've got some dodgy paint that uh, I know in my first probably 30 videos I used uh, student acrylic paint which totally fine and waterproof once it's dry if it is just plain paint as soon as you start thinning it down it didn't like that <laughs> so uh, that's why I changed to the indoor outdoor paint but um, it definitely didn't like being washed so if you've got some dodgy paints that don't like being washed cornflower is a good way to clean them and also I found that doing if you're using MDF you really don't want to be getting MDF wet it's just not. So unless you've got a complete seal around the whole entire piece and your paint, your water's not going to go through the paint anywhere, I personally wouldn't. And that's why I'm using corn flour on these. Um, just...
Give it a good rub. I have noticed if you've got, and you can see it here, if you've got those little air pocket holes, they um, they will hold on to that. And so I've just got a, a brush, which I cannot see in this 10 seconds. Um, but it's just like a quite a fine brush and I just give it a bit of a scrub with a dry brush and um, that all comes off and um, cornflour comes off <laughs> and then afterwards I give them a wipe down with alcohol so I'm going to finish these I'm not going to bore you doing all of this process on all six of them Then my next step is to um, go over them with a dry clean rag and just get as much off as I can. And oftentimes this will actually get in and get that stuff out of those little holes. Sometimes if you've got a lot of silicon, you may need to do two or three rubs, um, two or three douses of, of it, leave it for a few minutes, um, rub it off, put another lot on. About a max I've ever had to do is three, and on the third one it was obvious that all the silicon had gone, so I didn't bother doing any more. Now, I would not normally do the next step in the same place as I use the corn flour. But, it's raining outside and I am not, I don't have a large amount of bench space. So, where are we? Where's my alcohol? Christmas morning, I'm drinking already. No. <laughs> uh, yes, this is Christmas morning. If you follow my channel, you'll notice I did quite a bit this morning. <laughs> when you get up at 20 to 5 in the morning and you're wide awake, and you're like, oh, what can I do that won't wake the family? Go out to the studio and get some work done, Michelle. So, just gonna. Give that a quick wipe down with the alcohol just to get any dust particles that were left. Now, as you can see, I am getting some paint residue coming off that, uh, but I'm not too concerned. Not too concerned at all. I would, if, if I was doing something that had, um, what's that word, 
light and dark colours, I'd be a lot more careful with how I was rubbing. Use clean patch each time. And some of you might be going, you don't actually need to do that, Michelle. Maybe you probably don't, but this is just the way I've been doing it. Uh, and I'm just sharing what I do, guys. I am not the guru. Please don't consider that every word that comes out of my mouth is gospel. It is definitely not. Um... He's my little koala. I like him. Um, what I'm sharing with you is what I do, what I've done, what I choose to do. And if you go back through my videos, you will see that that changes. Um, I've done different ways of cleaning my paintings. I've done different ways of varnishing them. I've done different ways of mixing my paints. I'm fairly settled on my flow troll and water and Reeves paint. I quite like that combo. So there we have them. And I'm going to let those set for just you know, 10, 15 minutes, let that alcohol finish evaporating. And then I'm going to spray them. Coat two. And number three. Okay, so here we are in my kitchen. This one here, some of you who have been watching my channel for a while will remember this set of coasters. I absolutely love them. They were made with the same colour combo as I did that big pot. Please excuse any background noise there at my family is home. Um, and this one was just spray sealed. Or oh, maybe I brush sealed. No, I brush sealed that. Mm, that looks brush sealed. But I'm sure I spray sealed it. Anyway, it's not with the same Rustoline and it does stick. This one is one of the set from the Rustoline. So, let's test them. What I thought I'd do is I used identical mugs. These are the only ones I haven't painted on yet. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's the best test. I have boiled, boiled the kettle. If you don't believe me, I will bring it back up to boil again. Pop! And let's pour that water straight into the mug. And straight into that mug. And pause. Allow them to seep. Allow the goodness of the tea to permeate throughout the tea. 
the water? Whatever. One minute later. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they both stick. How's it getting any better than that? Hmm. Okay. What's right about this? I'm not getting. I wonder if that would change at all with a little bit more time. Um, those have been sitting there. I sprayed them over a week ago. So, doesn't seem to make any difference. It does just pop straight off again, so you just have to tap it sideways. Just like that. Doesn't make any dents. There's no imprinting or anything like that. But it does tack. So there you go. No different really. How does it get any better than that? What else is possible? I like them. I like them anyway. Oh well, test done. <laughs> I will put them to good use now. Thanks so much for joining me here at Mickey Art. Um, I do lots of little experiments like this and I always post my results whether it turns out how I want it to or not and uh, so you guys get to learn from what I've you know you get told these things and Linda swears by it Linda says that this stuff works brilliantly for her um, and let me know in the comments like is this a low level tack am I just being pedantic about that or is this something that is this as tacky as yours get or do you yours sort of like go wonky weird and wonky i'd like to know so um come join us on the acrylic forum for fun facebook group and what magic can we create together what else is possible and how does it get any better than this i adore you all have fun and i will see you in another video. Bye-bye.